Hey, on this video, we are going to learn about a influencer strategy. It should be an influencer strategy that you can use today to supersize your business. We're covering 30 different super successful award-winning business owners strategies, what they would do if they lost everything and had to start over from scratch, what they would do the first 30 days, day one through day 30. If you want to get a copy of that exact plan, go to the free Facebook group, 30 Day Supersize Challenge. I will go ahead and put that in the links below so that you have access to it. A influencer strategy or an influencer strategy, if I'm using proper English, is by Natalie Hodson. Natalie Hodson is a fitness professional. She's a blogger. She's been a blogger for quite some time. But if she were to lose everything, what would she do? And she calls her talk how to identify and approach your perfect influencers to promote your lead magnet and get the most leads and the most yeses possible. Now, since she's a writer and a blogger, bloggers are writers, right? It's like writing a, an article every day for a newspaper or a magazine would have been in the past. She is going to do something that has to do with writing. What I love about her approach is that she is going to use data to determine what people are already looking for because our ideal clients, morning Chad, our ideal clients are out there our customers, our customers already, are already out there looking for information. They're looking for answers to problems and situations in their life that we can help them solve. So Natalie's approach is to look at her data or to look at statistics or Google AdWords or to go online to groups and research what are people already looking for? What are people already buying? And she's going to do that by analyzing Google keywords and Google Analytics, which is an awesome way to approach life because you're finding out what people really want and are buying already instead of reinventing the wheel. So she's going to look at Google Analytics to determine, you know, what, what do people want? What can I give them that they want? Now, what she found when she did her original research for her $37 ebook that sold a million dollars in four months, she went back and she looked at previous blog posts that she'd posted that got the most engagement, that people liked and reacted to the most. And she found that she hadn't even written them. They were guest posts on her blog. But she knew the topic was something that people were really passionate and, and they wanted to know more about. So she actually partnered with a doctor who was an expert in the field and created an ebook. A book online, if you don't know what an ebook is, because some people still don't, it's just a book that is in digital form on your computer or a Kindle, or nowadays you can read them on your cell phone. So she partnered with a doctor, wrote this ebook, and then launched it. And so, of course, that's that's what her successful strategy to regain everything in 30 days would be. She's gonna find out what do her ideal clients want, what are they talking about, what are they looking for already, and then she's gonna create or co-create an ebook about how to solve that problem that they're asking about. So she would create the ebook and she goes through, um, <clears throat> she would do a lot of the things that a lot of the other successful people we've talked with do. She would be on Facebook groups interacting with people. She'd be on Instagram interacting with people. But she's also going to really hit what she calls the Dream 100 strategy. She is going to go through her contacts, the people that she follows, and those are the people she's going to approach first about promoting this ebook, this lead magnet, she calls it, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I throat, with her, let's sneak a drink, because she knows that <clears throat> they already have the audiences, they're already reaching the people she wants to reach, and that's the quickest, fastest, easiest way to do the same thing too. So she is going to reach out and um, create joint ventures with those people. And she said, don't worry, a lot of people are going to say no. Most people are going to say no, but you only need one or two to say yes, and that gets the ball rolling, 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 and then you can get more people to say yes. She said the key to having good joint venture relationships is to make it easy for your partners, your joint venture partners, to promote your book. Know that it's something that's in the best interest of their audience and that it would really help their audience. Create sequences and emails and things and tools that they can use to make it really easy. Get on their blogs, write get blog posts about the launch for them so that they can just drop them the day that in the time that you want to do the launch. Go ahead and do Facebook lives with them and with their audiences. If that's something, if they have a podcast, get on their podcast, but do things to help them make it easy to help promote your ebook. <clears throat> she also talks about, you know, having a good 
um, preliminary sequence to bring people into your world and know what you're offering them and writing those out for yourself and then writing them out for your joint venture partners as well. She says, make sure that you plan and draw everything out for your launch on a whiteboard so you don't miss any key components <coughs> because launching anything is super stressful. She actually isn't going to launch the ebook until day 30 of her plan, but all the preliminary steps and things are drawn out in her plan. Again, you can get that by going to the free group. The detailed step-by-step, day-by-day written plan is there for you for free. And then she reminds us to test, 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 test everything. And even after you launch, you're going to continue to test and improve and perfect things. She talks a little bit about the minimum viable product. Make sure you're getting a good product out there, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Launch that product and then know that you're going to continue to improve it as you get feedback from the customers that are the first ones to buy and use the product. And then she reminds us to celebrate our success because all of this can be stressful and it can be scary and we're all afraid of, of stepping out of our comfort zone and doing things like launching an ebook or launching anything out to the world but know that everybody's afraid and you just do it anyway and you know that even if it flops and fails you're not a failure just that one thing didn't work and then you pick yourself up you try something else and then you launch something else and if you keep doing that if you keep getting up and keep going forward and taking the next step you will succeed. She also said it's important to have good mentors and people that support you in your life so that when you do have those little glitches in your plan, it doesn't become debilitating and devastating. So that is Natalie Hudson's email influencer plan. And again, she the key thing I caught from her is go after people that you're already following because you've already built a relationship with them and it shows that you're interested in them and people are interested in people that are interested in them. So our action item for today is to think about, and I would say get some data, do a little research on your clients, your target market, and brainstorm what kind of an ebook could you create or have co-created for them that would solve one of their biggest problems or challenges right now. That is our action item for today. Tomorrow, we are going to be learning about the 7X process strategy. Hmm, what's the 7X process strategy? Well, you got to tune in tomorrow to find out. Sit, have a fantastic day. I will catch you tomorrow. Go supersize your business. Take a chance. You got this.